those will also not migrate. So for that time, uh, uh, so we will see how to migrate those. Okay, so now uh, if you want to migrate the uh, reporting content, right? So you need to again go to analytics, run tools. And browse catalog. Uh, so you need to select the folders that you wanted to mm, migrate. Uh, so ideally you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't for any custom changes, right? Uh, you should not touch the standard folders. Suppose like these are some standard folders, right? You should not touch uh, these uh, standard folders because every uh, for every release or everything so the content might be modified uh, in the standard folders so all your uh, custom reports should be uh, in custom folder and uh, you need to you need to make uh, for each module within this custom folder so in shared you need to create a custom folder and in that custom you can you can define your uh, own content in the for your spe specific to your module and sub modules etc reports dashboards everything now, if you want to migrate, uh, right? So you can you can uh, my you can upload you can export the file, uh, entire this folder using this archive. So if you click on this archive, so you can keep all the timestamp formations also, and you can you can click OK. And now uh, a catalog file will be generated. So this file will contain all the content within this custom folder. Whatever uh, custom folder will have, right? All these contents, all these subfolders, reports, data models, uh, templates, everything, everything will be copied to this uh, custom, um, uh, to this file. So once it is downloaded in the target instance, you need to go to the same path. So you need to make sure the path is exactly same as the source instance. So if you change the path, what will happen is the, uh, so everything in, in, in this report site, right, it will work based on the path. Suppose if you map uh, some data model, uh, uh, right, data model to a report, while creating a report, you will choose the data model. So the data model path, should be exactly same as uh, uh, in source instance and the target instance. If that path changes, it will not work. It will give some wrong, uh, uh, it will not work basically. It will give an error or it will refer to the original, uh, The if, if that in that old path, if there is a report, it will still refer that. Uh, so that's why it is better to keep the paths exactly same as uh, in the source and target environment. Uh, so once you exported file, you will you need to click on this unarchive in the target environment. You need to select the file. Okay. Suppose here uh, you you will get that file, right? You will, you need to select that uh, catalog file, and then you can choose you wanted to replace everything or you wanted to keep old. Uh, I mean, you wanted to uh, replace null. You don't want to do anything, but just uh, uh, upload this file. If you want to do forcibly something, uh, you can do, choose this force option. But usually this uh, inherited, uh, I mean, uh, none will work. If you want to replace completely the old one, so then you can just uh, use old. Okay. Suppose for uh, example, I'll take an example of uh, this. It is taking more time because the data is more. So uh, example, I we have created a BAP reporting folder yesterday. We wanted to uh, export this. So you can choose uh, this particular uh, folder and then you can use archive or unarchive or 
you can choose you can, you can go to more and you can archive it file will be generated now i want to up to upload um this into custom so here i have cx and uh, i have sales so if my report is for accounts because uh, it is related to account so here i wanted to uh, i wanted to up, uh, upload so i'll go to unarchive and select the file that i exported so if if you are in a, a same instance you can use copy copy paste option but if you are in a different uh, right so you will you will just go to the same path and then you will upload this option if you are in the same uh, instance you can just go to more copy and uh, paste copy and paste in the if you are in same instance so no need to export and import if you are in different instance you can use this uh, import and export now if you see bap reporting uh, uh, folder is uploaded now you can notice that the path uh, difference i told right if you ex if you edit the report and uh, the path right is different from um, is different right now if you notice the data model is still referring the uh, my folders my folders path this is the data model right now if i click on this huh. so this path is not uh, not the correct one okay so for that what i'm do what i'm trying to do is i'm 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 selecting the data model that is available in this path in shared folders custom cx sales account BAP folders. So whatever the data model is in this path, I'm selecting this. So now it will refer this data model. You can, if you make any changes in this path, so it will apply. So if we don't do this mapping, so then it will still try to refer the data model that is available in the my folders. So you can you can export uh, or archive an archive uh, not not only at folder level at report level data model level dashboard level you can do that so it a system allows that option okay. 